chooses a way other than Islam, submission to the one true God, Allah says it will never be accepted from them and in the hereafter they will be amongst the losers. So Islam is saying this is the only way, Christianity is saying this is the only way. No, no one is saying that all, all roads lead to Rome, whichever way you choose. So it's very important, you know this life is short and one day guaranteed we have to go back. So we have to know the right way. You're from a Muslim background? Yeah, I'm from Muslim background. My mom, my dad, my family, my big brothers. Okay. So? But now, yeah. I'm simply from Muslim to go to the... Okay, is it, is it based... I'll be honest. Is it, is it based on you studied, you became convinced, or you're just taking the easy way? No, no, not easy way. But my problem is the yeah. Muslim side. Yeah. Yeah. My problem is, you know the Quran. Yes. I can't read the Quran properly, so I don't understand. In it. Arabic. Arabic. Yeah. I can't read it Arabic properly. So okay. I understand the one the Arabic name. Uh -huh. Ah yeah, ha Yeah. That's my problem. But you have it in English. Yeah. I but have can, English one. Yeah. Can I? But can I just say, you know, every every way of life, there's levels. You can study to a very high level in Islam. You can spend your whole life and you will not complete it. But there is a, a bottom line, a bottom line, a foundation. The foundation of Islam is very simple. It's two things. One is that God is one. He alone is the creator. He alone gives life. He alone causes death. He alone owns everything. He alone provides. So therefore, he alone deserves to be worshipped. Worship him alone and don't worship anything other than him. That's the one point. Second part of Islam is that Allah sent messengers. And in every time, in every place, the people have to follow the messenger sent to them. So in the time of Noah, people have to follow Noah. In the time of Abraham, in the time of Moses, in the time of Jesus. So now is the time of the last messenger, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it is upon all mankind. Wherever they're from, whatever their background, they have to accept the last messenger, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This, this thing, this foundation is so simple that I believe anyone who has an open heart can understand it. We don't believe that, that God so loved the world, He became a human being, He came down, He died for the sins. No, worship God alone and follow the messenger sent to you. Even, even if someone doesn't uh, spend years studying Islam, studying the Quran, studying Arabic. This foundation, even the old lady in the village, the old man who's just a, a simple farmer, he can understand it and the heart says, yes, this must be true. It's very simple. There's one God, worship him alone. And anything which is worshipped, a prophet, an angel, a tree, a stone, anything which is worshipped other than that one God is falsehood. And when a messenger is sent, I have to accept him. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, when we look at his life, when we look at what he taught, when we look at where he came from, he had nothing, he had no one around him. Within 23 years, from the, from the help of Allah, the whole Arabian Peninsula had come under Islam, had entered into Islam. All the people had united under Islam. All the other religions had finished in the Arabian Peninsula. Then, within 20 to 30 years after his death, Islam had entered into North Africa, it entered into Persia, it entered into China. From North Africa, it came down to uh, West Africa. In West Africa, they established uh, kingdoms, they established civilizations, the people they benefited, the people they thrived. And this is all from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Mecca who couldn't read, who couldn't write, he didn't have wealth, he didn't have power, but Allah aided him because he came with the truth. And even you know, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he received prophethood at the age of 40. Before 40, all his people, they considered him to be trustworthy, to be honest. So when he came with this message, which no one can, uh, no one can bring something like the Quran. The Quran has been preserved. We have it today. It's, it's been, you know, it's been memorized by hundreds of thousands of people. If I recite Quran now and I make a mistake, 
Someone without the Quran in their hand will correct me. Yusuf, you're wrong. This is the letter. This is the word. You missed out this verse. You recited this wrong from memory. So the book is preserved. So you need to think about it because you, you, can't, you can't have a one foot here and one foot there. Think about it. Can I give you an English Quran to read? Uh, you know something? Yeah. Before, I want one question. Before, I, told, I know the Muslim yeah. didn't stand in here to yeah. give him the, you know, the, the message. And yeah. The, but why now? Um, me, I've been Muslim 30 years. We used to do it th those days. People, yeah, people used to do it, but I think now because of um, YouTube and because of social media, like for example, me and you, if we had a conversation 30 years, it's between me, you, Allah and the angels. No one knows about it. But now someone has a conversation, within one hour, the conversation is around the world. So what happens is, me and you, we watch it, we get, we get inspired, we decide to do it in our city, we decide to do it in our area. So it's increasing, the message is increasing. But the amount of people embracing Islam is increasing so much. The amount of people who are fasting, praying, like the mosques in this country, you go there for Ramadan, they're packed. You go there for Jummah, the Friday prayer. Most masjids have at least two Jamaats. You go there for Eid, all of the masa masajid, they have three or four Jamaats. Women, children, young, old, white, black, Asian. So it's, Islam is spreading so fast. Yeah, and either you're with it, or but this. But I, I ask you, just keep in mind this simple message, because I know the human heart recognizes it. God is one. No one else deserves to be worshipped, and we follow the messenger sent to us. Like for example, as, as a Muslim, I follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But I have to believe in Jesus, I have to believe in Moses, I have to believe in Abraham, I have to love them, I have to respect them. And I believe they came with the same way of life, the same religion. I don't think that they came with a new way. I just think they're people, they forgot the message or changed the message. Yeah. Yeah. And, and none of, most importantly, none of them came and said, I am God, worship me. Jesus never said that. Moses never said that. The Quran is very clear when it mentions the mother of Mary, uh, sorry, the mother of Jesus, Mary, and it mentions Jesus. It mentions a very simple argument. Kana yaqulani ta'am. Yeah, Nabi. Yeah. MashaAllah. Yeah, so the Quran is very simple. It mentions Mary and Jesus, they both ate food. Anyone who has intellect, anyone who has a clean heart, when you see that Jesus ate food and Mary ate food, you don't need long arguments. They can't be God. Because we eat food because I'm weak. I need strength. I need energy. And once I eat food, you know, it's not nice to mention, but some of the food is used by the body and some of it is wasted. Someone who ate food is God. Allah, Rabbul Alameen, the Lord of all that exists, the creator of the heavens and the earth. This is, is such a great slander, it's such a great lie. So that's why Islam is the only true religion. You, you have to come back, you have to hold far, far, firm to Islam. My name is Hadiza. Khadija, mashallah, beautiful name. So I, I give you something to read? Yes. Okay. Okay. Sister Khadija, thank you for your time. You. All the best. Take care. Actually, you are back home. Huh? You are back home. Me, I'm English. English. Yeah, like I, I became Muslim uh, 30 years ago. Ah, okay. Yeah. Your name? Yusuf. Oh, Yusuf. You got a relative yeah. called Yusuf as well, yeah? No, no. Okay. My brother is Yusuf. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> okay then. Alhamdulillah. Be Muslim, be strong. Die Muslim. Okay, okay. That God had a 